and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be power leveling Carpenter from levels 1 to 50. And as always, hello from Mr. Blue Sideburns. So, with less than two weeks to go until the expansion, Heavensward, uh, I've only got two classes left to power level 250, which are Carpenter and Armorer. And today we're doing Carpenter. And I have enough leave allowances spare to finish off Carpenter. I have a few spare, and hopefully it, it will recharge in time before the expansion so I can do Armorer as well. So anyway, I'm at the Carpenter uh, Guild here in... New Gridania, right here. So that's the Adventurer's Guild, that's the Eighth Right. The Carpenter's Guild's right there. So let's now unlock Carpenter. And this guide is a power level. So the point of this guide is to do it as quickly as we possibly can. So, as well, have all of the materials pre-made by a... Well, by myself, really. You know, I, I did them on Mifri earlier on, maybe yesterday. And... That's the whole point of this crafting series. So um, it's not for everyone. I do have a new player's crafting series if you want to do it yourself. But this is the assisted way of getting 1 to 50. So this, the, the different ways of getting your crafts to 50 quickly. Okay, so complete. So first things first. We need to equip our level 1 saw. So now Carpenter is unlocked. So let's equip... A level one saw. Cool. Let's just quickly empty out my interface. The only reason I have these buttons on my interface is because I copied the interface over from Mifri. So I'm just going to quickly empty it out. And as well, uh, when you're doing a power leveling uh, burn, let's say, of classes, it makes no difference what gear you wear anything really because you're just going to be turning things in you're not going to be crafting anything but let's see that's on and that's that okay but obviously i don't want mr blue sideburns to be naked this whole time so i'm gonna wear an appropriate outfit so let's wear the strife outfit And because we're in crafting mode, we're going to wear the goblin cap as well. And let's see, we're going to save a new gear set for Carpenter right there. So there we go. So that's the Carpenter set. Let's drag that there. Cool. So we're good to go now. So let's start turning in and let's get to 50 as quickly as we possibly can. So let's turn in the first quest. The very first class quest involves giving Beaton here, the guildmaster, a maple lumber which is the easiest thing in the world to make oops it makes no difference if it's high quality or not everything is high quality in my gear set just because i'm mifri and i like to high quality everything so that's complete so that's the level one quest done that was easy so first things first we need to go straight to the Adventurer's Guild and we are gonna do the first leaves and it's gonna be from the Adventurer's Guild we're gonna do every single leave quest on our way to level 50 so, sorry one second Cool. So let's. Uh, sorry, there's a was a bit of latency, so I need to just fix that. So anyway, we're now at the leave me. So let's do here trade craft leaves because we are equipped as a carpenter. It will automatically select the carpenter leave quests straight away. And in each town at the adventurers guild, it will, you will only have available the craft leaves where for the guilds which are in that town so for example in gridania you will only have leave quests available for carpenter and level worker because only the carpenter and level worker guilds are here that's why the rest of the options for every other class is blank is because those guilds don't exist here in reality they should filter this list but whatever 
So anyway, Carpenter, and this is the way we're going to do it. In each level range, every five levels, we are going to select whichever leave has got the most experience reward. That's going to be our goal. So you see here, 720, 728, 860. So this is the one we want, this touch and heal. So let's accept. And that's it. And what we're going to do for every five levels, we're only going to do the one with the highest experience over and over again until we reach five levels above. So in this case, we're going to do this from levels one to five. So let's quickly turn this in. So if you have any um, head pieces which can boost experience or food or whatever, then you might as well wear them. It might save you one turn in or something, but we're going to have to do this quest twice. And we have to turn in high quality maple patents. Now, the way that power levels work in Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn is you have to turn in high quality versions of the items and then you get a 100% boost to your reward which means you get a double the reward so in this case rather than getting 860 experience we're going to get 860 twice which is 1720 experience okay cool and we're level three already so we're going to go back to the adventurers guild and do this once more So, there is a little bit, there's going to be quite a lot of traveling to do this, but we'll probably be able to get 1 to 50 done in a couple of hours, maybe 2-3 hours, which to get a class from 1 to 50 in 2 or 3 hours in an MMO is very, very fast. So again, let's do here, touch and heal. Let's go straight back. And remember to use your sprint to save as much time as you possibly can. Cool. So let's turn this in. Maple patents. Yes. Complete. And there we go. Wow. So we're just short of level 5. So what we're going to do... We're going to go to the Carpenter's Guild, and we're going to craft whichever item we can to get to level 5. So we were given 30 maple logs at the beginning, so we're just going to synthesize them. So if you open up your action and traits by pressing P on your keyboard, go to actions, drag basic synthesis onto your bar, and then just press that over and over again until you craft the item. And this is normal, this happens for levels 1 to 5. This is probably the only item you're going to need to craft this entire grind. So we're level 5, you might have to make one or two lumbers to get to level 5 if you're not wearing any type of headpiece. But that's it. So we're level 5 already. We made one item, and that's it. So now we can talk to Beaten again. I'm going to be doing the class quest as we go along as well. Just because when I get to level 50, I don't want to have to go back and do all of the different class quests for the different levels. I'd rather do them as I go along. So for level 5 you need to turn in three square maple shields. So yes. Skip scene. Complete. Complete. And along the way I'm only going to be accepting the silver pieces. I don't need any gear because I've already got a level 50 set for my crafters. So there's absolutely no point in accepting any low level gear. So again, we're going to go straight back to the Adventurer's Guild. And we're now going to pick the next leave quest to get us to level 10. So let's see. This one re requires, let's see, 3,430, 2,274... 2,514. So obviously you want this one because it offers the most. So we will have to turn in Maple Crooks. And we need to go to, let's see, the Bannock, which is just outside in Central Shroud. So we're going to accept that leave and only that leave. 
because as I said before, we're only accepting the highest experience leave in each bracket. We're going to run straight out the gate of Gridania to get to Central Shroud. Or you can teleport, teleport, teleport. You can teleport, I should say, to Ben Branch Meadows and run from there. But it's an equivalent running time. And if you have a mount, you can use it. And that's what's good about Final Fantasy XIV and Run Reborn is that as long as you have a mount, even if you switch to a level one class, uh, you can still use your mount. You don't have to be a certain level to use it. You just have to have learned the ability to use it. So. The Bannock, that's Gridania, the Bannock is there. It's literally like the closest town to Gridania in Central Shroud. Okay, so we need to turn in the quest to this person, this Lanvalais. So let's hand over the Maple Crook, again high quality. Yes, we get double the reward for high quality. So you see we've got 6,860 experience. So I'm anticipating having to turn in this lead quest four times in order to get to level 10. So once we are level 10, we will continue. Okay, so we were able to hit level 10. Um, I initially did four of the leave turn-ins, but in, in fact, you need to do five. So if you do the leave um, spears... Wow, I need to remember the name of this leave that we just did. If you do the leave quest, basically, uh, let's see, leave quest, so completed. Let's see, carpentry leaves, touch and, here we go. So spears and sorcery, if you do it five times, that will get you to level 10. So we're again back with beaten. Let's accept the level 10 quest. Okay, so ready to turn it in. We have to turn in 12 ash lumbers. It doesn't matter if they're normal or high quality. It doesn't benefit you in any way. You can just turn in normal qualities. So complete. And I will provide a full shopping list in the description of the finished video as well as I have with all of my other power leveling guides. So we're heading straight back to the Adventurer's Guild, and then let's do the next leave for levels 10 to 15. So let's see, Tradecraft leaves, level 10, let's see, so 5,132, 4,460, 6,066. So obviously, this is the one we need, and we need to go to Bent Branch Meadows for this. So we need to turn in Ash Lumber, so this leave is called Raise the Roof, so let's accept. So let's teleport now to Bent Branch Meadows. Now, something I do when it comes to teleporting, when you're doing multiple turn-ins for a leave quest, a good idea is to run to the Aetherite and make it a favored destination because you already know you're going to be coming here a few times. So I'll change whichever one right now. So this is now a favored destination, which means teleporting here will be cheap. And then you turn in the leave right there to Audrey. Okay, so let's turn this in. And double the rewards. So we get a 12,000 experience, just like that. We're level 11 already. So I am anticipating having to turn this in a total of six times in order to hit level 15. And something to do as well, which is a good idea. I'm going to quickly teleport back to Gridania. And I'm going to make Gridania my free destination. So if you've registered a one-time password on your account, then you can pick one Aetherite to be a permanently free destination to teleport to. So let's see here, register free destination, yes, and you can change it whenever you like. So it just means coming back to Gridania will be free, which we're going to be coming back here every time we want to do a new leave. So anyway guys, once I am level 15, we will continue. 
Okay, so we hit level 15. Uh, I thought it would take six times to turn in the leave quest, but in fact it took eight. So eight turn-ins of Raise the Roof, turning in three Ash Lumbers each time. So I, I turned in a total of 24 Ash Lumbers in order to hit level 15. So let's now again talk to Beaton here in the Carpenter Guild to do a level 15 quest. So we're going to go through this as quickly as we can. We need to turn in, or we need to speak to this Mira Pamira. And um, if you haven't done these quests before, I would very much recommend that you pay attention to the story of the quest because every single quest in the game, every single class quest and series has got its own stories. And it is very, very much worth paying attention to those stories and seeing what the lore is around them because they're just really interesting to see. You know, that's the thing I read about. And as well, compared to the level worker guild master, Beaton, the carpenter guild master, is actually a really nice man. He really encourages you to be a better crafter and so on. He's, he's one of those friendly people, you know, whereas the level worker um master was horrible to you like all the time anyway so we're giving him a ash short bow and we need to talk to yain in old gridani at the lancers guild and give them a feathered harpoon so we can use the afinet shard to teleport straight to the lancers guild save ourselves a lot of running and you should take advantage of the Afernet system in the towns if you haven't already because they can send you a huge amount of running around the towns. I know the towns are not that big, but it's still better to use them than it is to run. And also they're free, so you don't have to worry about spending gil on them or anything. So anyway, here's Yane. Let's hand over the Feathered Harpoon. And again, it makes for now, it doesn't make any difference whether you turn in high quality or normal quality. That doesn't really occur until level 25 plus. That's in for the class quests. For the leave quests, yeah, you want to turn in the high quality stuff the whole way. Okay, so... Teleport to the Aetherite because the Aetherite is the closest to the Carpenter Guild. You don't need an Aethernet for the Carpenter Guild because the main Aetherite is right next to it, the Aetherite Plaza. So let's turn in the quest to beat him. It's Kip's cutscene for now. And the good thing as well, if you're doing these power leveling guys, just remember you're given new web, um, tools and offhands and stuff like that every five levels. So when you reach level 50, you'll have quite a few of them. Just sell them. Like, you just sell them on the market board. If they're worth anything, sell them. If they're not worth anything, vendor them. But we don't really care because we're going to get the level 50 weapon once we finish. We don't care about anything below level 50 at this point. So anyway, come straight back to the Adventurer's Guild. Leave me. Tradecraft leaves. Okay, so let's see. 12,172. 8,400, 8,700. So obviously this is the one we want, the 12,172, which involves giving in Elm Lumbers at Hawthorne Hut in East Shroud. So let's go. Teleport East Shroud, Hawthorne Hut. And the same thing, we're going to set Hawthorne Hut to be our favorite destination to, to save on the cost of teleporting back and forth. And with the amount of reward you get from the leave quest, you won't lose money doing this. You'll you'll gain money. So I started with 37k. I'm already at 41. So again, favor destination. I'll replace Bent Branch Meadows because we're not going there again. And literally right next to the A for right is the turn in person. So let's turn in Elm Lumbers. Yes. Complete. So we got... 24,000 experience for doing this. So I'm anticipating having to turn in this leave quest eight times in order to hit level 20. So once we are level 20, we will continue. Okay, so we hit level 20 by turning in the leave quest, driving up the wall eight times, turning in 24 elm lumbers. So again, we're back with beaten in the Carpenter Guild. So let's do the level 20 quest as quickly as we can. 
Okay, let's turn it in. And over, yes. Complete, complete, done. So that's the level 20 quest finished. So let's now go see what leave we have to do in order to get to level 25. So again, we're sprinting back to the Adventurer's Guild. So it's kind of hard to believe that I'm going to be three times Builder of the Realm by the time the expansion comes out. It's crazy. So anyway, leave me. Tradecraft leaves. So let's see. 7,300, 18,000, 12,000. Obviously, it's the 18,000 one we want, which will take us to Quarry Mill. And it does require more Iron Lancers, so we need to make a bunch of them. So again, let's teleport now to Quarry Mill. And as before, immediately click on the A for I, set favor destination. Instead of half on heart, we'll make it quarry mill because we're going to be coming here a lot. And then let's turn it in. Complete. So we got 36,600 experience for that one leave quest. So I'm anticipating having to turn this in a total of nine times in order to hit level 25. So once we're level 25, we will continue. Okay, so we completed the leave quest, Militia on my mind, a total of 10 times, not 9, so it was actually 10 in order to get to level 25. So I seem to have really underestimated the amount of turn-ins for Carpenter. And uh, we're now back at the Carpenter's Guild, so let's do the level 25 quest. Okay, and I could just wear my goblin hat again because I'm above 25. So let's talk to... Nicoliex, Nicoliex, who is behind the Carpenter Guild just around here. Okay. And like I said, guys, do pay attention to the quests. And this is the first time at level 25 where high quality turn ins are actually required. So you see there the little symbol for walnut high quality is saying that you must make a high quality walnut lumber. So it's from level 25 you get tested. Well thankfully we come prepared. Of course it is flawless. So let's go straight back to the guild adventurers guild and let's do the next leave quest that will take us to level 30. okay so let's see leave me leave me tray sorry tray craft leaves Let's see, so 31,000, 11,000, 19, so obviously we want the 31,000 called Tools for the Tools. And we need to turn in Silver Battle Forks at Quarry Mill again. So let's go to Quarry Mill. And it's normal that between level 20 to 30 you'll just constantly be going back and forth to Quarry Mill. That seems to be consistent with all of the crafts. Okay, so let's turn in the Silver Battle Fork. Nice. So there you go. That we got 62,840 experience for that one leave. So I'm anticipating having to turn this leave quest in a total of 9 times in order to get to level 30. So once we are level 30, we will continue. So you need to do the leave quest tool for tools. Uh, a total of 10 times in order to get to level 30. So again, we're back with Beaten to do the level 30 quest. So let's do this. 
Okay, we need to give him a high quality walnut cane. And we need to give the cane to Garhard. Garhard. The names of the characters in this game are quite amazing. Okay, hand over. Okay, so now we need to give it to Ponet, who is right there. So it's quicker for us to run through this zone line. And head towards the Conjurer's Guild. Okay, so we need to go back to Gahard. So there is a lot of story to um, Carboner, but like I said, this is a power level guide. We're skipping through it, but like I said, if you haven't done it before, please read it. Please pay attention to the story. You'll enjoy it. Cool, and back to beaten we go to finish the quest. Complete, there you go. So that's the level 30 quest done, so now let's return to the Adventurer's Guild so we can see which leap quest we have to do next for levels 30 to 35. Okay, here we are. So leave me, Tradecraft leaves. So let's see, 49,000, 1730, so obviously you want the 49,000, called Knock on Wood, where we have to turn in Walnut Mushuaishulihulit. Okay, so let's do that. So let's teleport now to Costa del Sol, and Costa del Sol is already a favorite destination because I love going there just because it's awesome. I guess soon enough, in just a couple of weeks, Ishgard is probably going to be my new home point. Okay, so let's turn in the quest. Complete. Okay, so we got 14, sorry, we got 98,000 experience for that one. So I'm anticipating having to turn in this quest a total of 11 times in order to hit level 35. So once we are 35, we will continue. Okay, so we managed to hit level 35 by turning in the leaf quest knock on wood a total of 11 times. We actually 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 <laughs> hit level 35 by doing it 10 times, but doing it the 11th time will bridge the gap later on which will help us towards level 40 and 45. So it's a good idea to do it an 11th time just for the sake of it. And let's do the level 5, 35 quest now. So let's do it. Where we have to give in an oak longbow. High quality. So let's hand over. Okay, and again we need to turn it into Gaia Hand. It's not Gaia Hand, so Gaia Hard. Gaia Hard. Garhard. 
however you want to pronounce it. Let's hand over, hand over, here you go. Right, so let's go talk to Beaten. Okay, beaten, beaten, beaten. Let's finish the quest. Complete. Nice. So that's done. So let's now return to the Adventurers Guild and see what quests we need to do from level 35 to 40. And as is usual when we do these power leveling guides, it is amazing how quickly we get through the levels. It's absolutely nuts. It wasn't that long ago we didn't even have Carpenter unlocked and we're already talking about level 35 plus. So anyway, let's see. So Tradecraft leaves. Let's see, 42,000, 19,000, 61,000 in the observatorium. We need to turn in yards and shell harpoons. So let's go. And you have two ways to get to the observatorium. You can either go to North Shroud and run through the zone line, or you can teleport to Camp Dragonhead and run south. And for now, we will teleport to Camp Dragonhead because we need to do that for 40 to 45 anyway when we head to White Brim Front. So anyway... We're here for the first time. We click on Aetherite. Favor destination. We'll replace Quarry Mill because we're not going back there. That's it. And to get to the observatorium, you need to run south out of Camp Dragonhead right here. So it's a good sort of minute and a half run, I think. A minute and a half, two minutes, something like that. Straight south. But if you watch a movie or listen to music while you're turning this in 11 times, it goes by really quickly so every other minute you'll be turning in another one and getting another 130,000 experience 120,000 something like that okay so we're about halfway there now cool so this is when the journey times increase a little bit but it's definitely worth it because this is the final stretch i always say that when we make it to corpus it's the final stretch because it's just literally Corphus for 22 turn-ins and then um, Mordona for 11 and you're done. And then you'll be level 50. So we're in the last 33 leave allowances and we have exactly the number of leave allowances left. So we'll have zero leave allowances when we hit level 50. So again, let's turn in this Harpoon. Complete. So we get here 123,000 experience. So again, I'm anticipating having to turn this in a total of 11 times in order to hit level 40. So once we are level 40, we will continue. Okay, so we hit level 40 by doing the leave quest uh, stay on target a total of 11 times at the observatorium and after 10 times we actually hit level 40 but again i've done it an 11th time just to bridge the gap towards 45 it is required for later so again let's talk to beaten and let's get our level 40 quest done so we need to just give him a high quality oak composite bow so let's hand over Nice. So let's give the O composite bow to Gayahard. Garhard. I guess uh, write in the comments down below of the video if you know how to pronounce his name properly. P -p properly. <laughs> I guess that sums up my trouble. I can't even say the word properly. Properly. Okay. So off he goes, back to beaten. Okay, so let's talk to him again. And for anyone wondering uh, where the goblin mask is from, you actually get it as a veteran reward. I can't remember how many days veteran reward, but it's one of the veteran rewards for 
having been subscribed to the game for a certain amount of time. So anyway, continuing on, back to the Adventurer's Guild we go and we'll see what leave quests we have to do for levels 40 to 45. Okay, so here's the leave meat. Oops, wrong one. We want tradecraft leaves. Let's see, so 56,000, 84,032. So obviously this is all we want, the arsenal of theocracy. And we need to hand in cobalt halberds in white brim front. So let's accept. And white brim front is to the west of Camp Dragonhead. So again, we're going to teleport to Camp Dragonhead and run to the west. Okay, so this is a way to go down here. Straight to the west, past the Gates of Judgment, to White Brim Front right here. Okay, so obviously this is where everyone is going to be in less than two weeks time to get towards Ishgard right here. This is the doorway to heaven. So that's why it's called the Gates of Judgment. You know, that it, that the name of the gate has a meaning. It always has. So, so anyway... We just need to run down here. Wow. I reckon this fate, the eyes have it, is probably the fate that's killed the most people ever. Would have surprised me with his different like swipe attacks. So anyway, you don't have to run around here to the entrance. You can actually jump over this wall with its mega defenses of this uh, fortress. So you just go over this hill, jump over the wall, and that's it. It's a quicker way of getting in here. And then the leave guy is right there in this corner. So let's turn in the leave quest. Hand over, hand over the cobalt halberd. Yes. Nice. So we got 169,604 experience for that one leave. Again, I'm anticipating having to turn this in 11 times in total to hit levels 45. So once we're level 45, we will continue. Okay, so we turned in the leave quest, the arsenal of theocracy, 11 times in order to get to level 45. And as before, after 10 times we hit level 45, but we did one extra just for the sake of bridging the gap towards level 50 later. So again, we're back with Beaten in the Carpenter's Guild. Let's do now the level 45 quest. So we need to talk to Nicoliex. who, as we know from before, is standing behind the Carpenter's Guild. Right, so now we're going to talk to Gerhard. Cool, so we need to give to Beaten a high-quality Cobalt Harvard a high quality Jade Crook and a high quality Yu Longbow. So let's do that now. And over. Okay, so we're instead going to give them to Gerhard because he needs them to attack the Exali. But I won't reveal more about the story in, at all. I guess you guys can check it out if you want to see the story of the Carpenter. Cool. So again, let's talk to Beaten.
Okay, let's complete. Done. So that's the level 45 quest. So now we'll go back to the Adventurer's Guild and we will see the very last quest we need to do multiple times in order to hit level 50. Okay, so we're back at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see, Tradecraft leaves. So, 26,000, 103,071. So obviously this is the one we want. It's called Trident and Error. So we need to turn in Cobalt Tridents. So let's accept. Let's go. And we need to teleport to Mordona and go to St. Connod's Find, which is right here, to the southeast of Revenant's Toll. So let's go now. And this is the last stretch in order to get us to level 50. It doesn't take too long to get there. Okay, so we're going straight southeast towards St. Connaught's Find. So not too far, not too far. Again, it's equivalent to going to. It might actually. It's probably a little bit quicker than getting to Wiper in front or the Observatorium. It's about a minute run. It's not too bad. And for this leave, we're going to be getting literally like two hundred six thousand experience per leave. So. It's one of the ironies in this game, like, in other games, as you get to higher level, the level, the speed at which you level gets slower and slower, but in this game, it's just not the case at all. It's consistent. So, sure, the numbers are bigger, but the uh, rewards are bigger as well. To match it. There you go, 207,000 experience. So when we're about to hit level 50, we will continue. I'm anticipating having to do this either 10 or 11 times, something like that. So when we're about to hit level 50, we will continue. So here we are, guys. We are now one leave quest and one turn in away from hitting level 50. So let's get it done to get yet another class at level 50. Hand over, hand over. Complete. And with one leave to spare. So we are now level 50. We've got the mighty Bygarth's Blessing. So let's return now straight back to Gridania, do the level 50 quest, and then we can equip our gear. It really goes by very, very quickly. I think it was like three and a half hours in total to do this grind 1 to 50. And it was fun. Did it all in one sitting without a break. So really very much enjoy the power leveling method of crafting to get a class from 1 to 50 in one go and all that we're left with now is armorer and then we'll be builder of the realm okay so let's talk to Nicolex again Nicolex Here is Nukolux. Okay, so we need to give a length of high quality rosewood lumber to Beaten. So let's do that now. There he is. Next, we need to deliver a crab bow melded with Savage Aim Materia 3 to North Shroud. So we have that made already. So crab bow, high quality with a Savage Aim Materia 3 to North Shroud to right there. So we're going to teleport out to North Shroud and then quickly run. So we'll use the Aetherite. Aethernet, North Shroud.
So it's not too far of a run. Take you 30 seconds to get there. Almost there. We. So as I said, they were fighting the Exali, and you're helping them with much better equipment. So again, let's go talk to Beaten. So let's teleport back to New Gridania. Okay, so let's sprint. Here is beaten for the last time, at least for now. Complete. So there we go. Level 50 finished. We have the level 50 weapon, the Ulikumi. So let's equip it now. Ulikumi. And let's equip our standard artisan set, the talent set, which we've had prepared from all the other classes. Wow. So the Ulukumi looks really cool on him because it's like bigger than his back. <laughs> okay, let's put the accessories. So equip. Equip. Again. And that's it. So that's level 50 Carpenter done. So, as I said, with less than two weeks to go to the expansion, hopefully our leaves will recharge in time for us to finish Armourer and become then three times Builder of the Realm on Mifri, Ori, and Blue Sideburns as well. I hope you liked this episode, and I will release a shorter version of this video, which I guess might be the one you're watching now anyway, with the description of in the guide sorry the description of the video will be the full guide explaining everything you need to know to get one to 50 so anyway guys that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from blue sideburns <laughs>